So, I'm sitting in my apartment, alone, nursing a bottle of red wine when a knock at the door interrupts my pity party. It's my best friend, face flushed, eyes wide with panic. Without uttering a word, he hands over a small, worn-out notebook. Inside, it's filled with explicit descriptions and sketches of my partner and my best friend in compromising positions. Every page, a new betrayal, a heartbreaking revelation. It was like a punch to the gut, the world spinning out from under me. My mind races, trying to make sense of it all. This notebook, it wasn't just a diary of their secret rendezvous, it was an intimate portrayal of their love for each other. Dates, places, emotions, everything laid bare. I had been blind, or maybe I just didn't want to see. But their affair had been going on for months, right under my nose. Yet the most shocking part? It wasn't even the affair. It was the realization that my partner wasn't the person I had thought they were, and the person I trusted the most, my best friend, was the one who stabbed me in the back. I was torn between fury and despair, a cocktail of emotions threatening to drown me. Here's where the story twists. The last page of the notebook revealed something I never saw coming. It was a letter of confession from my best friend, admitting his love for my partner but also his guilt for betraying me. He was leaving town, couldn't bear the guilt and the pain of not having the one he loved. And there I was, left alone with the bitter truth of their love and my own shattered illusions. I was forced to confront my own inability to see the truth, my blissful ignorance that cost me the two people I cherished most.